Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Dyson with Death. All right, Halvar. You limp through the overgrown garden outside of, uh, outside of this temple. It was once a little graveyard, but the uh, graves have been removed and replaced with plants that are growing lushly. Bordering on overgrown, but it seems, but it appears to be tended. Halvard does not feel comfortable with this. After yeah. seeing Uncle's house, I'm worried that these are still graves. You've worked yourself into a frenzy, I believe. I have. So how does that look? Are you shouting, uh, chewing at yourself, biting your shield? I'm chewing on my lip. To the point that maybe I'm like actually consuming small parts of my lip, mm -hmm. but I'm like gnawing on it, using the shield to push open the gate, uh, carrying the sword over my shoulder, focused at the doorway, gnawing on my lip. Ready. All right. Uh, roll your d8 plus whatever. 12. Oh, no. good roll, Halvar. All right. The uh, door to the temple are closed. And uh, sealing the door shut is a wreath, uh, a small wreath of uh, like holly berries. Mm. Um, it's like interwoven in between the uh, handle of the door. I try and pull open the door. Or it says push. push. I can't read. I can't read. <laughs> I try both. I, I do the pull push combination. Yeah, you pull push, um, and quite easily the door slides open. The wreath of the holly berries breaks, letting the door fly open. <laughs> Make a saving there as a spell. God damn it. Zero successes. It's prob that might be it for Halvar. In fact, it probably is. Holy shit. Fucking did it! The fire, tra I mean, kind of. The fire trap goes off. An enormous burst of flame erupts from the trapped door. Um, you take nine points of fire damage. That doesn't get reduced by my armor? It does not get reduced by your armor. All right. One HP, burned, bleeding, carrying the shield of his enemies, carrying a magical sword. Halvar enters the temple. You step between the flames and do an enormous uh, haul. A cavernous room is before you. Uh, maybe if you weren't so frenzied going into it, you would have heard. But in, in the silence following the explosion, you hear the chanting, almost singing of men. Um, only two standing uh, side by side amongst the hall. Well, wow. like bowed in uh, contemplation. Um, they were like in the aisle between seats, um, praying, and uh, you make quite an entrance. So I guess we're rolling for initiative. Yes. Um, I fix eyes in the direction of the chanting, and I will proceed there post haste. Second to look up. Uh, four and two. Uh, their initiatives are different. I'm just gonna roll one and okay. So they they will both go before you. Um, what? They've lower than. Oh yeah, for spellcasting, lower than four initiative makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 
Kill it. Hopefully they're just blessing each other. Yeah. I think they've already done that. Oh God. What's that, uh... like a chant spell that like multiple priests can use together yes there is a chant spell it's a second level spell oh called chant uh... we won't bother with that all right they're casting other spells um so in the silence following that explosion, you hear the uh, gentle humming of these priests. Mm-hmm. Echoing throughout the enormous hall. Um, on roll a perception check. 26, I see near yeah. everything. Yeah, I think you quickly step into the room. On completion of the spell, uh, perhaps in response, maybe along with the priests chanting, uh, you notice the uh, foliage outside begin to sway and writhe as if it's alive. That's no going back. And you step forward. Um, Another steps towards you chanting, hefting a cudgel that also twists and writhes with their chanting. Uh, Be gone from this place, abomination. All right. I ignore their cries. Your bestial slaughter must come to an end. It is your time to rest, wolf. I ignore their words and just make eye contact with the priest and walk towards him, dragging my bloody foot behind me that's been bandaged poorly. Shield up in front, sword in hand. Can I close with him this round? Yeah, you can walk towards them. I mean, even at half movement. Yeah. What is it like? How far can you walk in a round? 120 feet. Yeah. Uh, if I go slowly, uh, 120 yards. If I move quickly. Yeah. The whole, the whole. Well, you're at half moves, remember? Right. Uh, the whole. Do I have like some weird dynamic lighting shit in here? Uh. Apparently, doesn't really matter. I mean, there's nothing to see in nothing here. Nothing to see. Okay. There's a. Uh, it's the entire hall is like 120 feet okay. from here to the end the pulpit, uh, but they're maybe 30 feet in, facing the door. The prayer finishes. I walk page. up to one and with surprising speed, bring my sword up over and around for a slice towards his, uh, where the shoulder meets the neck. 12. Um, Armored priests, unarmored priests. They're wearing skins? No, they're not wearing skins. They're wearing robes. We'll call their robes leathered armor. They're wearing like leather robes ah. for hide robes for cloaks. Um, which is actually a 12, so a 12 will hit. Then I will hit him for 15 damage. Um. You slay the first. Um, I, I leave my sword in him as his body is, drops yeah, until yeah. I walk away and let it kind of pull out on its own. But mm-hmm. I walk after the other priest. They're standing side by side. Mm. Even better. I throw myself at him off of my good foot, bringing out my big jackal teeth to engage him. 
Oh. Four D four plus nine or sixty four plus nine. I'm not sure which one it is, but if you if it is sixty four, then it's eighteen. Otherwise, it's fourteen. You eat him alive. Wait, yeah. And then I snap up. I smell the air. Are there more priests nearby? Roll a perception check. Disadvantage, right? Hmm. I'm frenzying. I don't think you have, dis- you have disadvantage on perception. You do. I think so. Yeah, yeah but mm. it's a 30 anyway. Um. Are there more? Can I smell them? Um. There's no more priests, but uh, you do smell life in here. I follow my nose. Wherever it turns, I turn. Um, You follow your scent uh, to the altar, and you push aside a large fur skin to find a hatch. And you open it, and you find huddled people taking refuge in a secret compartment beneath the altar, hiding, hoping to flee your wrath. I look, uh, I try to look what's beyond them. Are there axes lying around? (laughs) There are no axes. Just poor, innocent civilians on the wrong end of your sword. They certainly are. I'm frenzied and my sword will not let me walk away, nor do I really want to. So, goodbye people. Make a roll to hit. Uh, So there's five people down here. I don't know if I get high ground or whatever. Yeah, yeah, I don't think I need it. Sword will hit. How deep is the hole? Slay one. Uh, maybe like five feet down. Okay, so it's too deep Ooh, down for me to bite into then. Correct. Well, unless there's um, no, but they're, yeah, they're not standing. So yeah, yeah. So I'll just stab at one. Yeah. Wait till the next round. Make stab at the other. opportunity against all the others. Tax of opportunity? Oh, God. <laughs> I'm going to just do 20 D. Uh, no, not 20. Um, 4 D. 20 greater than I get plus six and I need a 12 so greater than six. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah two hits they're all hits because uh, oh. there's plus six on each of these yes true that uh, yes. these guys don't actually have uh, AC so this was oh, even better. I don't, if they have AC 10, and maybe I get a plus one for high ground, then I crit at least two. Yeah. So they rush you, attempt to bring you down, and you slay them all in a flash of blood. Their screams alert the other refugees um, who go running but find themselves caught in the entangle. And so... Uh, yeah. So out of a side chamber, the priest's quarters, uh, more people come running. Uh, they flee out the front door and get tangled up in the, uh, the entangle spell. All right. around no axes no people except for the ones in the entangle There's, no priests yeah. i think you find yourself walking towards the entangled your entangled victims can i stop and eat a heart first can i stop and eat the heart of one of these priests or am i just not interested present moment? yeah you can go ahead and do that i'll stop yeah, and gorge Val. Mm, Actually, one. failure. Um, I 
trouble making up yeah, rules on the spot. Actually, I'll let you roll this. Roll a d8. Um, gain. Let's have you gain d8 temp HP. So you gain three temp HP and you lose one max HP. Your max temp HP goes up, though. My max HP. Okay, so my max temp HP goes up to 10 from seven, but it's currently uh, sitting at three. It goes up by one. Okay. So it goes up to eight, and then your max HP goes down by one. So you're at three out of eight temp HP. Okay. And my max goes down by one. 48. Okay. Up to eight. All right. And, uh, three out of eight, is it? Because you wanted me to roll the D8? Um, yes, you're at three out of eight. All right, I'm ready. Having eaten the priest's heart, I turn back to the presence, the peasants in the entangled area and walk after them. Mm -hmm. They're all entangled. So there are seven peasants caught in the, uh, caught in the garden. Mm -hmm. See, if you fail, a creature that rolled successful can escape. Um, I think just the first couple are stuck, trapped. Um, and the rest probably couldn't have fit afterwards. Mm. So I think they flee... They go running for the sides, maybe back to the room they came from. But they climb up and over, also getting entangled. It's a mess. Who are you going for? Oh, the closest one. Or the strongest one, whoever looks like a good warrior of the closest people. Um. I guess make some attack rolls. Yeah. There's an attack roll. There's a crit. And a bite. I guess I just shred a few people. You killed first two, was it? Mm-hmm. I'm looking around. There's my ox. <laughs> Not here. It's true. Mm -hmm. I think make a saving throw as the uh, vines and brambles lunge for you as well. Ooh, my saver spell is 14. I failed by one. So I think the grasses twist, entangling Halvar as well. Um, so I guess you're stuck here for a turn. I, which is fine because I don't think there's any more threats around me. Thank God. Is there no. anyone within range of my weapon to lash out at as long as I'm stuck? Can't even make attacks. I think you're, I think it's just, a, I don't know. Why don't you tell me what it's like to be stuck in this garden? <laughs> next foot's... to these millions. Are you like shouting at them? <laughs> I'm like, my foot is already broken and mangled and bleeding to death and I've been limping and dragging along, so I don't think it takes that much force to actually hold Halvar. Like, a vine just has to wrap around his one badly injured foot, and if he pulls mm -hmm. it, like, you know, the pain sort of snaps him back to reality, almost not quite out of his frenzy, but enough out to, like, stop what he's doing. How many rounds was your frenzy? I had, I think, eight more left to go. Okay. So Ooh. I can sheathe my sword, and I'll try and throw my yeah, hand axe at someone. I don't someone. think you can do anything while you're entangled. Okay. I think you're basically disabled, aren't you? Uh, no, it's usually just mobility is disabled. It's like a root, not a, a stun. Mm -hmm. Okay. But I don't know if my sword will let me sheathe it to throw my axe. I think... You can't sheathe it to throw your axe, but you can draw an axe and throw it in your offhand. My, my offhand has a shield on it. Yeah. 
Arr! I guess Halvar just is frustrated and slashes with his sword at the vines on the ground. I think, yeah, you, you slash your way a little bit further and then more vines come and take their, take their place and yeah. you just find yourself lost in a sea of green. Mm-hmm. All around you are the cries. Yeah. Dead and the dying. Okay. Ah. Well, when the spell dissipates... Yes, eventually the uh, garden gives up the fight. You think that it's your hacking that's uh, finally put it to rest. <laughs> yeah. Um, the uh, refugees flee for their lives. Um, I think they get away. They're faster than you. Yeah. So when the the rage descends and my enemies are gone and the vines are gone and Halvar's at one HP, it begins to dawn on him. But maybe my axe isn't here. I'm going to go search the temple just in case. So I'll re return to it. But he's slowly getting this picture of like, Frick, maybe what I want isn't around. And I have no idea where to search for it. I would need... I would need a wizard. I would need a, someone. There's no sign of an axe in this temple. You can loot it for its valuables. Oh, I will. Okay. Um... Pull up some treasure tables. find a small chest underneath the altar containing, or probably in the back room, in the priest's quarters, containing their wealth. Let's say um, that would be 220 gold worth of coins. So it's like a, lo a lockbox chest mm -hmm. containing this wealth. Uh, there are art object. Well, it's a pretty sparsely decorated temple, but you could probably pry off like totems and carvings oh i will it's valuables uh okay <laughs> oh yeah halvar um, goes full how much... loot Do i have a backpack that doesn't really have anything in it except for some rope so um i got plenty of room to carry stuff mm -hmm. okay um how much weight can you carry I can carry 40 pounds without being encumbered. And presently, I carry... Uh, let's see, what weapons do I have? 10, 13, 14, uh, and 8 is 22. 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, uh, 35 pounds. So I can carry 5 pounds before I'm slightly encumbered and up to 115 more. Or five total. pounds? Five you pounds before I hit my first objects. level, before I hit my first level of encumbrance, 
which I can live at. I can deal with brain sticks. I, you're not get. You're not walking out of here with like with art objects at that movement rate. I think even these coins might. Right. Be. You know what? Right, I'm even gonna if draw that's all, even if that's all gold. I dropped my rope. That's eight more pounds right there, Ryan. <laughs> all right. So I have freed up. Uh, I have 13 pounds of free space now. Okay. Um. Divided by fifty. Um, I think the lock box, the this chest itself weighs ten pounds, including the coins inside. I don't want the chest. I want to put the the coins in my bag. Okay. Say five pounds of coins. Okay. Um. And then. Art objects you were able to find. Um, the priests had uh, one of them had a uh, silver sickle. There was a there's a like a bowl made of precious metal for collecting tithings. Um, and then there are various wooden carvings that are presumably valuable. Um, in one of these side rooms is like a uh, like a greenhouse mm -hmm. with also like the preparations for like like, like a kitchen. Mm. Um, I don't know if you're smart enough to write that for valuables. Probably there are not. various poultices and things in there, but I don't know that Halvar knows what's what. Like jars of jars of plant plant goop. Maybe a survival check. Yeah, yeah. Roll, roll a survival check. Survival check is d20 plus seven. And Halvar looks at these things. And I, I think it's just a, a room full of. I mean, maybe you're scarred after getting entangled in the garden. They like seeing like the harvests from it. Mm-hmm. It's enough to turn you away. Yeah. Um, let's see. Let me find the weapons table. The bull, the bull weighs two pounds. I will take the bowl. Uh, How much is the silver sickle? Standard sickle. That's what I was trying to find. The table. Hmm. Like a, a little handheld sickle, right? For like cutting grain or whatever. Yeah, here, I've got it. I have a one pound on one of my charts for it, but I don't know what you want to call it. Uh, three pounds. Five, ten. I can carry a little bit more weight if I want. I can carry another three pounds before I have to start dropping other shit. Uh, there's no more. The, okay, the, that's all I need then. It's heavier from there. So you get the bowl, you get the sickle. I'm, so, the I'm satisfied. There are, like I said, there are wooden carvings, but like picking up like a totem pole is going to weigh at least 10 pounds. Yeah, that's no good for me. Um, uh, you also, oh, okay. I was, you do see more of those holly wreaths. Maybe that's probably what turns you away from the, uh, mm. from the, from the greenhouse is you see just like a table with arrangement with like preparations of those wreaths and you're like, nope, 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 leaving those alone. Okay. Well then. Um, there are animal hides. Ooh, let me open up the berserker table. And, uh, are there bear skins lying around? They're like bear skin rugs. They're not, uh, they would not immediately be usable as a bearskin, but if you take those and work them and do some form of uh, 
into the skin that you would wear. Yeah, I will. How much does a bear skin weigh? Does it weigh more than my jackal skin? Uh, let's. I think it, I think all skins will weigh the same. What is your? What do I have your jackal skin as now? Ten pounds. I think it'll, it'll weigh at least ten pounds. Okay. Um, if it's between 10 and 15, kinda... I will drop my jackal skin and take the bear. You're going to drop your jackal skin? Well, I can't take the bear skin if it's 10 pounds. I can only carry five more. Yeah. Okay. And Halvar is... Ja- I mean, your jackal skin has taken a beating. Might be, we might weigh less now. Uh, no, it might. I probably should have rolled to see if it was destroyed. Yeah. Okay, replacing with bear skin seems fair. Um... Yeah, so I'll take the jackal skin off my shoulders, let the the the, the chipped head mm. fall to the ground. Its teeth are all broken from my critical misses earlier today. Um, I'll grab the bear skin, throw it over my shoulders. Yeah, and we can just say we can skip the whole crafting aspect of it. You don't need to even have like a tanning or a leather. I have leather working. You made me take leather working. Okay, uh, make your leather working check now then. All right. 1d20 plus 7. Alvar, oh, this bear skin is weird. Roll at advantage, because you've got more than one bear skin. Oh, these bear skins suck. I'm going to take one, and I'll take it with me somewhere else, and I'll make it better over there when I've got more time. I think so, yeah. You still leave behind your jackal skin? Yeah, I'll drop it onto the ground, throw the, the bear skin over me. Mm-hmm. And limp out of the I was town. I was tempted to let you uh, to let you just keep it without rolling the check, but since I made you take the leather working check. Yep. All right. Um, if you're just going to leave town without uh, harassing more of my NPCs, we can just have you limp into the woods and probably call it a session here. All right. I will limp into the woods, still not finding the axe I set out for, but feeling good about finding, like, because last time I attacked Wodeheim, I kind of got revenge. I killed a couple of the people that had wronged me. But now I feel truly satiated. Like, you know, like the people of Wodeheim will forever fear me. I feel very satisfied with this. I will never need to return here. At least I have no more vengeance to get here. Um, so, yeah. Uh, give me a hot second. Yeah, let's do experience. Um, so the body count totaled 46 plus two priests. Um, I'm just going to give you a, your level six, right? Yeah. Um, let's tally up, uh, including the priests, we'll go up to 50 hit dice. There may have actually been a few of those guards that had two hit mm-hmm. dice, but, um, we'll just make it 50 times 60 is 3,000 plus for the, uh, each of the priests was, well, so 150. So we're looking at 3,300 experience points for the sacking of Lodheim. Excellent. Um, I don't think there's anything else. You had already gotten your fulfilled your oath for mm-hmm. for getting revenge on Wodheim. Yeah. So this is just extra. Yeah. Um. Um. The town is more or less abandoned. You're able to safely walk out of whichever entrance you tr- you choose. I'll take the southern entrance and head back to Uncle's place. Okay. All right. That doesn't level you up, does it? Not even close? No, not even close. I was trying to think of some extra XP to get, but I can't think of any. Um, I'm at 5740 out of 6400. So too far off. Yeah, 14,000 more. 13,300. However, it limps away to fight another day. Just barely. That was a a lucky roll on that fire trap. I know, right? (sighs) T20 
D4 plus right. 10 is so much. Uh, it was plus 8, wasn't it? Plus yeah, 8. Oh, yeah, yeah, plus 8. Yeah, uh, 2 per level? Uh, I think it's just 1 per level. Oh, a level so that 8 was, fire trap. Well, yeah, that was prepared by the... I had the... Yeah, I, it was the uh, the guys you fought couldn't have created it. It was prepared by the uh, previous guy. You probably could have taken a few of those and like used them to arm doors, but I don't think Alvar's smart enough. Yeah. I don't think the spell as written is meant for uh for it to be like stored for future use. Yeah. yeah. But I was Yeah, because then you run into weird troubles where like people will attach it to an arrow so it'll fire and set off the trap and it's it's supposed to be designed as a warding thing, not well, a... Well, actually, the caster and anyone designated can be tuned okay. to not discharge it. So, yeah, it could have just been set up on the door. Oh. All right. Anyways. Yeah, you barely made it away with your life. I did. And I guess we'll have to figure out what that bearskin does. Um... Well, I know exactly what it does. It says so kind in of, the sheet. But I need, I need to uh, quantify it. It's got a it's got a chance to damage weapons that attack you. Um, I'm not. Sure, I don't think it will reduce damage. Ooh. But I'm not sure. I haven't decided. I mean, maybe it maybe the damage reduction is it just got the damage reduction of the weaker armor, or maybe it just gives you bonus oh. HP. Because the wolf skin will reduce incoming damage from iron and fire by half. Mm -hmm. um, and it grants advantage while hunting. I thought the bear skin was sort of saying it was going to do the same thing, but also allows you to fight to so. minus 10. I think what it'll do, I, I think what it'll do is have a chance to destroy weapons. I'll have, we'll have to think about it. Okay. All and right. then, yeah, and then you'll get basically 10 extra HP or something. That, to, that bear ability to keep fighting. Mm -hmm. Okay, I can do that. Well then, I guess that is it for Halvar for the day. You got anything to share with the people? Uh, I don't think so. Thanks for watching. You got anything to plug? Upcoming shows? Our Empires of Arcadia will start on October 9th. That is a week from today. It will be taking place in Bravo, which is one of the Arcadian Isles. If you watched the marathon stream, The Legend of Yaka, uh, that's the prequel to this campaign that was coming up, which is why we ran that stream, is to sort of develop some lore and history and play out the world a little bit. Um... So that's coming on up starting next week. We have Trump SC, Destiny, Devin Nash, and Zazarian as our players. And it'll be 5th edition. And I think I have the lion's share of the story already done. So it should be pretty smooth sailing to run. We'll just be doing a bunch of uh, map making for it from time to time. And tomorrow we should have a, a Dice and Men. And... When we're done here, I got to go finish playing tomorrow's session. Fun, oh fun, God. fun. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, I guess we'll catch you later, probably next we'll week. We'll catch you next week. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye. Right, bye. -bye. bye.